Welcome to the Financial Frontiers channel, where we explore the latest developments in finance technology. Today, we're setting our sights on the exciting world of Bitcoin wallets and exchanges. These platforms play a pivotal role in the cryptocurrency ecosystem, serving as the digital gateways to buying, selling, and storing your Bitcoin. But with an array of options available, how do you decide which one is right for you? Well, that's exactly what we're going to delve into. We'll be comparing different Bitcoin wallets and exchanges, examining their features, strengths, and weaknesses. We'll look at factors like ease of use, security measures, transaction fees, and more. Our aim? To equip you with the knowledge to make informed decisions in this dynamic digital landscape. Because when it comes to your Bitcoin, you want to ensure it's in safe hands. So buckle up as we dive into the world of Bitcoin wallets and exchanges. First, let's understand what Bitcoin wallets are. A Bitcoin wallet is akin to a digital bank account. It's where you receive, store, and send your Bitcoins. Think of it as your personal interface to the Bitcoin network, similar to how your online bank account is an interface to the traditional monetary system. Bitcoin wallets contain private keys, secret codes that allow you to spend your Bitcoins. In reality, it's not Bitcoins that need to be stored and secured, but the private keys that give you access to them. Hence, the security of your wallet becomes paramount. Now, there are different types of Bitcoin wallets, each catering to specific needs and security measures. Let's delve into them. First, we have software wallets. These are apps that you install on your computer or smartphone. They give you full control over your wallet, including the responsibility for securing your Bitcoins against theft, loss, or failure of the device. Software wallets can be a good option if you're handling small amounts of Bitcoin and want easy access to your funds. Next, we have hardware wallets. These are physical devices designed to secure Bitcoins. The private keys are stored in a protected area of the device and can't be transferred out in plain text, making them immune to computer viruses that could drain software wallets. If you're dealing with large amounts of Bitcoin, a hardware wallet is a worthy investment. Lastly, we have online wallets, also known as web wallets. These wallets are hosted on a server and can be accessed from any device with an internet connection. While they provide convenience, they also expose you to additional risks as your private keys are stored online and can be susceptible to hacking. So, understanding the different types of Bitcoin wallets and their respective pros and cons is a crucial step in your cryptocurrency journey. It's about finding the balance between convenience and security that suits your needs. Now that we have a grasp on Bitcoin wallets, let's move on to Bitcoin exchanges. Just like wallets, Bitcoin exchanges play a crucial role in the world of cryptocurrency. Now let's dive into understanding Bitcoin exchanges. These platforms are digital marketplaces where traders can buy and sell Bitcoins using different fiat currencies or alternative cryptocurrencies. Think of them as the stock exchanges of the crypto world. They match buyers with sellers, and when a matching buy and sell orders are found, the exchange software completes the transaction. Bitcoin exchanges are vital to the cryptocurrency ecosystem. They provide liquidity, determine price, and serve as a bridge between the traditional financial system and the world of cryptocurrencies. Without exchanges, moving Bitcoin and other digital currencies from one person to another would be much more challenging. There are three main types of Bitcoin exchanges, centralized, decentralized, and peer-to-peer, -peer, or P2P exchanges. Let's briefly touch on each of these. Centralized exchanges are the most common type. They are platforms that are owned and operated by a single organization which controls all transactions. Users of centralized exchanges do not have direct control over their own coins and instead entrust them to the exchange. Decentralized exchanges, on the other hand, operate without a central authority. Instead, trades occur directly between users, peer-to-peer, -peer, through an automated process. This type of exchange lessens the risk of centralization and offers increased privacy. However, they can be a bit more challenging to use for beginners. Lastly, we have peer-to-peer -peer or P2P exchanges. They allow buyers and sellers to trade directly with one another without the need for an intermediary, much like a traditional marketplace. This approach provides a high level of privacy and control over your funds, but it can also be riskier, especially for less experienced traders. So, as you can see, each type of Bitcoin exchange has its own set of advantages and potential drawbacks. Understanding these can help you choose the best platform for your specific needs and risk tolerance. With an understanding of Bitcoin wallets and exchanges, we can now delve into comparing different platforms. There are a variety of Bitcoin wallets available, each with its own set of features. If you're new to this field, it might feel like standing in a candy store with a sweet tooth, not knowing where to start. So let's dive in and compare some of the most popular Bitcoin wallets out there. 
First up, we have software wallets, and a name that often pops up is Electrum. It's been around since 2011, making it a veteran in the crypto world. The user interface is quite straightforward, and it's compatible with all major operating systems. But where Electrum really shines is its security. It offers two-factor authentication, multi-sig functionality, and even allows for offline cold storage. The downside? It's a bit technical for beginners. Next, let's talk about hardware wallets. These are physical devices that store your Bitcoin offline. One of the most well-regarded is the Ledger Nano X. It's as secure as Fort Knox, keeping your Bitcoin safe from online threats. The Nano X supports a vast array of cryptocurrencies, not just Bitcoin, and it's easy to use. However, it does come with a price tag, and it's not as convenient for quick transactions since you have to connect it to your device every time. Then we have mobile wallets, perfect for those who like to have their Bitcoin on the go. BRD Wallet, for example, is a popular choice. It's user-friendly, compatible with both iOS and Android, and security is robust with features like fingerprint recognition. The downside? It's hot storage, meaning it's constantly connected to the internet and thus more vulnerable to online attacks. Web wallets like blockchain.com offer the convenience of being accessible from any web browser. They are user-friendly and often come with extra features like built-in exchanges. However, they are hot wallets as well, and the security entirely depends on the service provider. Finally, we have desktop wallets. Bitcoin Core, the official Bitcoin wallet, falls under this category. It offers high security and privacy, and by using it, you're helping to secure the Bitcoin network, but it's not for the faint-hearted. It requires a lot of disk space, bandwidth, and a bit of technical know-how. In the end, choosing the right wallet depends on what you value most. Is it security? Then perhaps a hardware wallet like Ledger Nano X is for you. If convenience is your priority, a mobile wallet like BRD might be the best choice. If you're a seasoned crypto enthusiast with a penchant for supporting the network, Bitcoin Core could be your go-to. Remember, no wallet is perfect. Each comes with its own trade-offs. It's about finding the one that fits your needs, your skills, and your lifestyle. Choosing the right wallet depends on your individual needs and preferences. Now let's look at Bitcoin exchanges. Like wallets, Bitcoin exchanges also come in different shapes and sizes. Each one has its unique features, strengths, and weaknesses. As we dive into the world of Bitcoin exchanges, let's remember, the right one for you depends on your specific needs and circumstances. First off, let's talk about exchanges known for their robust security measures. These are the ones that go the extra mile to protect your valuable cryptocurrency assets. Coinbase, for instance, is known for its advanced security features like offline storage and insurance coverage. Bitstamp, on the other hand, is praised for its multi-factor authentication and stringent regulatory compliance. However, keep in mind that high security often comes with a trade-off. These exchanges may require more comprehensive identity verification processes, which may not suit everyone's preferences. Next up, let's look at exchanges that are competitive in terms of fees. While all exchanges charge transaction fees, some offer more competitive rates than others. Kraken, for example, is known for its low transaction fees, making it a popular choice among frequent traders. On the other hand, Binance offers a unique feature where users can pay transaction fees with its native token, BNB, at a discounted rate. However, remember that low fees often mean less added services, such as customer support or user-friendly interfaces. Now, what about the number of supported cryptocurrencies? If you're someone who likes to diversify your cryptocurrency portfolio beyond Bitcoin, this aspect is crucial. Exchanges like Bittrex and Poloniex support a wide array of cryptocurrencies, allowing users to trade various digital assets on a single platform. However, a word of caution, more isn't always better. With a vast number of cryptocurrencies comes the challenge of managing them effectively and securely. Lastly, it's worth mentioning exchanges that excel in user experience. Some exchanges like eToro and Gemini are known for their intuitive and user-friendly interfaces, making them suitable for beginners. They often provide educational resources, easy to navigate platforms, and helpful customer support. But remember, an excellent user experience usually comes with a price. These exchanges may charge higher fees for their added services. To sum up, when comparing Bitcoin exchanges, consider their security measures, fees, the number of supported cryptocurrencies, and user experience. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all answer. Your choice should align with your trading habits, risk tolerance, and the level of convenience you desire. And let's not forget, no matter how secure an exchange claims to be, always practice safe habits. Use strong, unique passwords, 
enable two-factor authentication, and be wary of phishing attempts. After all, the security of your assets is ultimately in your hands. Selecting the right exchange can make a significant difference in your cryptocurrency journey. So, take your time, do your research, and choose wisely. Happy trading. Security is a major concern when dealing with cryptocurrencies. You see, in the world of digital currency, your wallet isn't just a place to stash your coins. It's a treasure chest that needs a sturdy lock. And that's where our security recommendations come in. First off, let's talk about two-factor authentication, or 2FA, as it's commonly referred. It's like having a double lock on your door. The first lock opens with your password, and the second with a unique code that changes every time you log in. That way, even if someone manages to guess your password, they'll still need that unique code to get inside. Most wallets and exchanges offer this feature, and we highly recommend enabling it. Now, speaking of passwords, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, password 123 is not a secure password. In fact, it's about as secure as a paper lock. A strong password should be a complex mix of upper and lower case letters, numbers, and special characters. And remember, no two doors should have the same lock, so avoid using the same password for different accounts. Next, let's discuss updates. You know those annoying pop-ups that remind you to update your software? Well, they're not just there to ruin your day. They're there to fix any security holes that might have been discovered. So the next time you see one, don't just click remind me later. Take a few minutes to update your software and keep your digital treasure chest secure. In the world of cryptocurrencies, your security is only as strong as your weakest link. Whether it's a weak password, a lack of two-factor authentication, or outdated software, any flaw can be exploited. Remember, in this digital frontier, you're not just a user, but a guardian of your own wealth. Keeping your cryptocurrency secure should always be your top priority. Today, we've taken a deep dive into the world of Bitcoin wallets and exchanges. We've navigated the thrilling waves of cryptocurrency and explored the intricate details of these critical tools that enable us to interact with the digital currency landscape. We kicked off our journey by understanding Bitcoin wallets. We've learned that these digital wallets are more than just a place to store your Bitcoins. They're sophisticated software programs that allow us to send, receive, and manage our Bitcoin transactions. We've seen how they come in various forms, each with its own unique features and levels of security. From hardware wallets offering the highest level of security to mobile wallets providing convenience and ease of use, we've realized that choosing the right wallet depends on our individual needs and circumstances. Next, we ventured into the realm of Bitcoin exchanges. These platforms act as marketplaces for buying and selling Bitcoins. We've seen how they differ in terms of fees, trading volumes, and security measures. We've discussed the importance of choosing an exchange that is reputable and aligns with our trading goals. Then we delved into the nitty gritty of comparing Bitcoin wallets and exchanges. We've discovered that while all wallets and exchanges serve the same basic purpose, they differ greatly in terms of functionality, ease of use, and security. The choice of the right wallet or exchange is as unique as the individual using it. Finally, we offered some security recommendations. We emphasized the importance of taking personal responsibility for the safety of our Bitcoins. We highlighted the need for strong passwords, two-factor authentication, and regular software updates. Remember, the world of cryptocurrency is exciting, but can also be risky. Always do your research and stay safe. Thank you for joining us on this journey at Financial Frontiers.